If you're ever in Seattle, Washington, you may notice something odd about the architecture, which is understandable as three giant spherical conservatories aren't typically found anywhere else in the world. Those spheres are owned by Amazon and let you know that you're just feet away from their headquarters. They form the base of their main tower, which is also dubbed Day One by the company and public alike. Usually, the conservatories inside the spheres are open only to Amazon employees. However, there are special hours during the week during which they hold tours for any member of the public to check them out. Not only are they filled with over 40,000 plants from over 50 countries, these spheres also hold a bathroom, cafeteria, and numerous elevators and staircases. Much more than your typical conservatory, but leave it up to Amazon to take something ordinary like a garden and up the ante. The headquarters was originally proposed in 2013. The design team took inspiration from many spherical gardens from different locations like the United Kingdom, Milwaukee, and even Italy. But the shape of these conservatories were the least of their worries. The team behind the spheres wanted them to look full of life on the grand opening, rather than just a bunch of seedlings in dirt. So in 2014, they cultivated their first plant for the spheres, which was the Heronia balenesis, also known as a type of Ecuadorian cacao. They would soon go on to source plants from botanical gardens and private growers from around the globe. Eventually, the spheres were opened on January 30th, 2018, and cost around $4 billion to complete. That's not entirely shocking though, when you see just how immaculate they truly are. However, the spheres are just a small fraction of the Amazon headquarters. Let's turn our attention towards the main attraction, Day One, or as you may know it as Amazon's main building. Before we get into the building as we know it today, let's revisit some of its history first. If you look up at the Seattle skyline, you'll no doubt see Day One as it's one of the tallest structures in the entire city, but this hasn't always been the case. Construction began in December of 2014 on the project, and it wasn't opened until November 7, 2016. That's just under two years it took to complete the building. It was dubbed Seattle's most expensive office project, seeing as it cost over $250 million to build. In the end, this massive building would go on to reach 512 feet in height and house 37 floors. That's a pretty incredible feat for an office building. If you're ever in the Denny Triangle neighborhood of Seattle, you'll definitely spot Day One, as it's hard to miss the giant spherical globes at its base. Unfortunately, you won't get the full experience unless you're an Amazon employee. Luckily for you, we have all the insider scoop on the amenities and features people can find inside the Day One building. You'll definitely be shocked at what is inside. Usually, you'll need one of Amazon's coveted blue badges to make your way through the front doors, but until the day you get your hands on one, you'll just have to take our word for it. One of the first things one can see when entering the building is, of course, the common areas. But this is Amazon we're talking about. These common areas are anything but, well, common. You'll be greeted by rotating art displays rather than your typical, boring, stuffy office walls. Not to mention there's independent local vendors that set up shop right in your office. You can support local, small businesses from work. You don't even have to step outside. In fact, you'll probably be shown some really incredible products that you may not have discovered otherwise. But one of the most popular features is dogs. Yes, you heard that correctly. Amazon brings in therapy dogs to help their employees unwind from the stresses of work. Nothing brings a smile to an overworked tech guru than a happy pup. Or at least that's what the upper management at Amazon seemed to think. Regardless, you can't deny that this is not your average work environment. There are several common areas around the building, which means there's more room for awesome and innovative incentives for the employees. Need a break? Why don't you play a game of foosball, ping pong, or even shuffleboard? They're all available here at Amazon's Day One. You may have to wait your turn, however, because this building is home to 45,000 Amazon employees. But with an awesome office like this, who wouldn't want to work there? If you're a Harry Potter fan, you'll love this next part. There is a Harry Potter-themed library at Amazon, which does make sense seeing as Amazon got its start selling books. You can also find a room called Post Alley. What does Post Alley mean? It's a place where Amazon employees can write funny sayings or drawings on post-it notes and stick them onto a wall for others to find. We're sure that scouring the wall for interesting notes makes a really fun break time at Amazon. 
What's your favorite feature of Amazon's common area? Let us know in the comments section below. Now, if you thought the common areas were cool, wait till you check out the offices. It's not all play at day one. Amazon is one of the top retailers in the world, so they're working non-stop. And with offices like these, it's no surprise that they stay so productive. Typical office buildings may consist of cubicles or separate areas for each department. Well, as you can already tell from this video, Amazon is not your typical company. Instead, they opt for a more open floor plan, allowing anyone and everyone an opportunity to work near someone who may not be in their department at all. This is done in an attempt to eliminate any sort of dichotomy between departments and create a more collaborative environment while at work. In fact, in order to keep things personal, a single team at Amazon will be kept so small that all employees can theoretically be fed with just two pizzas. That way, everyone in the team knows each other on a deeper level, which allows for better communication and teamwork among the department. However, some companies can't avoid the inevitable and often dreaded conference call. But as you may have already guessed, Amazon finds a way to make them interesting for their workers. The Meeting Center building houses all of these large meetings, which are necessary to keep the company alive and thriving, but it also houses some non-work-related events. Now that Amazon has entered the streaming service game and has began to produce their own content, Amazon employees are treated to free screenings of their upcoming shows and movies. Not only that, Oftentimes, actors, directors, or other crew members attached to a project will visit the Seattle building and have talkbacks with the employees. Imagine getting to meet your favorite actor and getting paid to do so. Doesn't sound too bad to us. Is there any Amazon-produced movie or TV show you'd like to catch a screening of? Okay, so you may be wondering, with all these fun incentives, what do I do if I need to have quiet or make a serious work-related phone call? Do not stress. Amazon has you covered. Scattered around the Amazon campus, you can find privacy pods that grant you the peace and quiet you need to get your work done. Whether it's an important Zoom call, a phone call with a client, or you just need to take a breather, you can use these pods to escape. We hope you've enjoyed the video so far and hopefully you're still here because the next feature of Amazon's headquarters is a total secret that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Don't forget to subscribe because we have plenty more tours coming in the future. Like we stated before, if you need a place for peace and quiet, you can use any of the pods that Amazon provides. But what if it's just too cramped for your style and you want something a little more elegant? On the sixth floor, there is a secret room that many people actually don't know about. Inside, there are couches for you to relax on so you can get your work done not only quietly but comfortably as well. The best part is the room is hardly ever being used because not a lot of employees know about it. Just a little tip in case you ever start working for Amazon one day and find yourself in need for a quiet place to stay. But not all is great in Seattle and unfortunately some Amazon workers have chosen to not resume work in the office. Why? Stay tuned to find out. It's mind-boggling. During the 1980s and 90s, Seattle's crime levels peaked and many innocent people were the victims of countless violent acts. In 2021, these levels began to rise again as gun violence increased by 40%. Where exactly? Near the Amazon building. Now, there are many tech companies in Seattle, not just Amazon, and many of them have had to implement new guidelines and features to ensure the safety of their employees. Some of these safety-driven decisions include the hiring of private security, or even closing the office early so their employees can make their way home before dark. Why must these decisions be made? Well, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, many companies allowed their employees to begin working from home, Amazon included. However, with the rollout of vaccinations and herd immunity beginning to form, they deemed it safe to bring people back into the workplace, which will inevitably lead to higher productivity rather than countless Zoom calls from home. But with the rise of crime, many Amazon employees don't want to return to the building. Why leave the safety of your home if you can get all your work done from your living room? Amazon has been asked this question countless times, so they formed a solution. And it's a pretty brilliant solution if you ask us. Instead of forcing employees to return to an area in which they may not feel comfortable or safe, and in an attempt to get them to return to work in person, they found a medium ground that will make everyone happy. As of 2022, Amazon will allow workers to appear at an off-campus office building away from downtown Seattle, where they're originally based. 
The hope is that conditions regarding crime will continue to improve, with help from the city and police, and soon everyone can return to the main office building. However, for the meantime, they've given their workers an alternative so they can continue their jobs, but feel safe as they do so. Talk about a company that truly cares about their workers' well-beings. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed getting to take a look at Amazon's headquarters and maybe one day you'll be able to visit them in person. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. As always, we'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Goodbye.